hey guys i'm back with another tutorial i want to teach you guys how to have this flawless face using nothing but just powder so yeah keep on watching Okay guys, so I'm going to conceal my eyes using the Balm Concealer in Medium and I'm applying that all over my eyelid. I only do this when I feel like my eyes is, I don't know, like if I don't look sick. So I like to put this like on my eyes and I'm going to put it on my eyelid. Now step one, I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to use the Laura Geller Spackle Makeup Primer. This primer is literally the best when I say that it lasts your makeup all day, guys. And my second primer I love to use is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I like it because especially if you're oily, where the oily areas that is after your face, I like it. I like to use it because it mattes and it lasts your makeup all day. The third one I use is the Smashbox Photo Finish for Minimize. I love this primer is because it really minimizes my pores. Like I can't stop using it, and I only use it when I really have the pores that, like as you can see, like it's just amazing. And I love to use. Oh, so um, clearly, if you think I have something in my lips, no, it's a lip stain that I did this. I used. I applied this lip color, and the color did not want to come out, guys. So, yeah, story of my life. So this is like one of the best like primer water ever. This is another one for Smashbox. And I'm just applying it just to refresh all over the face. Yes, the refreshing is real. So step two guys, powder time. So I like to mix two powders. I like to mix the MAC Studio Fix NC40 and the Bomb Powder Foundation. I mean Photo Bomb Foundation and dark medium mix those two and it really combined my skin and I like to use a kabuki brush this is the morphe 439 brush and I just like to just pat it until I get like more coverage as you can see like the NC 41 it don't it really like match my skin we don't want that because it don't go I feel like my neck is kind of darker than my face and I don't even have a tan guys so I'm just keep building it and I'm going to build it more up with the bomb um, photo foundation one and I'm just going to keep building the co um, coverage up and when I say it gives you a nice like flawless skin like it's beautiful guys like I just love these two when I mix them you have to get the bomb photo um, foundation powder guys like when I say it's amazing and you don't even need a filter and you look like you have a filter but it's not guys. So I want to use like a bigger powder brush just to like get like build up more of the coverage especially like where I have like the pimple scars at because I still have pimple scars from like like I don't want to go away like I don't know why so step three concealing time this is supposed to be step two because I like to conceal before I use any powder on my face and what I'm doing I'm just like regular concealing I'm concealing the highlight of the area of my face and this is one of my favorite concealers. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is a medium and oh my god guys, like this is one of the best concealer ever. It's really blendable. Coverage is like beautiful, especially if you're oily like me and you get creases from your under eyes. This, this, I mean, this do not crease your under eyes guys. Like this is one of the best. And I'm using my Morphe G, my G6 brush. It's one of the best concealer brush ever. It gives you a nice full coverage on your under eyes if you want a full coverage. And because if I use a beauty blender, it really mostly leaves like the, 
product out a lot so i like to use a brush when i have my days when i want my eyes my other eyes to not really be like you know there because i don't really want to look tired guys so i'm just going to keep blending and blending i seriously love this morphe brush literally like this is the gum metal collection as well and i'm just blending where i highlight the areas of my face as you can see what i'm going to do is i'm going to blend the concealer to my powder so it won't look like i have like two like i wanted to blend it all together because i don't want it to be strictly because you know when you put con um, concealer on top of the foundation it makes your face look a little streaky and it looks horrible but thank god for the foundation that i use it's really good love Okay guys, so I like to go back with the powder foundation just so it could connect with the concealer because I don't want it to like, I just want it to be really blendable. So what I like to do now is step four, set my under eyes and this is one of the best setting powder ever for like a drugstore like product. This is the CoverGirl setting powder. Oh my god guys, like I love it. It's literally, it's literally like a dupe of Laura Mercier, like it really lasts like your face super long and I like to mix it with the bomb photo um, foundation powder under my eyes as well because I feel like it really lasts more of my makeup and it really blends really nicely with it like I like to mix those two together so it's the best and now I'm just going to dust everything off with a nice blush brush and I like to use that brush just to dust everything because I feel like it really blends really well with this brush all over my face love it so step five guys bringing your feature back I feel like people don't really think about this part but this is really mostly like you really like need to focus on this part because you want to bring your all your features back to life you don't want to look plain and you could definitely tell like you have makeup on your face we don't want that we want it to look flawless so I like to contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hill contour kick and I'm just applying just regular contour bronzing the two shades and applying it where I want to you know just to slim my face a little bit hide them double chin you know what I mean especially that five head that I have you know just bring everything back to life Now for blush, I'm not really a blush person guys, like seriously. I'm using the Balm New Spring Blush and I'm just applying it on my cheeks with a fiber brush from Morphe. I forgot the number of this brush, but I love it. Like, just... All right guys, so this is really important, especially if you have so much powder. I go back with the same Prime Water for Smashbox and I'm just going to melt all the powder in to give you that nice flawless look guys now for the glow this is not really a step but this is my step if you want to get that glow up like me I'm using the new Nicole X Anastasia glow kick and I'm using go getter and forever young yes like you see that glow. oh my god guys like this is like it gives you like that wet glow like I don't know how many times I'm say like, but I know you just see my face. Like, it's just, it's like, yes, girl. I'm gonna need you to, like, clearly, like, keep on blowing up. Like, you can't miss this step, guys. I can't even miss this step. Like, I just love it. Like, nobody can stop me from not glowing. Now, the last part set your whole face. I'm using my MAC Fix Plus. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys love this tutorial. This is how I keep my face flawless using powder because I'm really not a liquid person like that. I mostly use powder. And yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Give, a, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Love you. Mwah.